Hi guys, my name is Megan Hine. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I've got a review of the New Evolution Complete Coverage Foundation. So if you are interested in learning more about those products, keep on watching. So the full size foundation costs $47. I wasn't sure what shade I would be or whether or not I would even like the foundation. So I went on their website and they actually offer a foundation sample pack for $8. I got mine in medium and it came with three foundation shades, 101, 102, and 103. It also came with three concealers, Disguise, which is a corrector shade, um, Flawless, and Natural. They also included some powder foundation samples, which I haven't really tried, so I'm not going to talk about those today. I think this sample pack is a great way to test out their product to try before you buy, so definitely suggest checking that out. So let's start this review off with some thoughts on the coverage. I mean, it's called Complete Coverage Foundation, so it would be safe to assume that it's a medium to full coverage, flawless looking foundation. I did not find that to be the case. I think it's definitely more of a light to medium buildable coverage foundation. It did a pretty good job at evening out my skin tone, covering any slight redness, but it definitely did not cover my blemishes or hyperpigmentation. Now if I'm spending $47 on a foundation, I want something that is super pigmented and I want to be able to put a little bit on and have it cover most of what I need covered. Now, while the coverage is not great for someone like me, if you've got pretty clear skin, I think it would work great on you. I do think this foundation lasts all day. Um, you could put it on in the morning and you're not going to see much fading or patchiness throughout the day. It wears really nicely. It's also fairly transfer resistant. I've got it on now and I just tested it out a little while ago. I took a napkin and kind of touched it against my cheek and I didn't get a lot of pigmentation on the actual napkin. So that's pretty good in my book. As far as finish goes, New Evolution describes this as a matte foundation. I, again, disagree with <laughs> their description. I think it's got more of a natural finish not even semi-matte or satin. I think it's definitely a natural finish foundation. After applying it, my skin looks like I'm not wearing a ton of makeup, which is great. I have that natural skin look. It's not overly matte or mask-like, and it has a really nice glow to it. One thing I definitely want to mention is how well this foundation photographs. I don't know what it is about it, but I'll look at it after playing in the mirror and kind of just kind of feel so-so about it. And then if I take a picture, it looks completely flawless. So it must be the ingredients that they use and I guess the, like the light reflective properties or something. I would consider this an HD quality foundation. So there's a huge disparity in how it looks on me in person versus photographs. Um, while it's great that it looks flawless in pictures, I need a foundation that is going to look great in person as well. And actually looking at it in my camera now, I think it looks really great on film as well. So I don't know, if I look in the mirror right now, it looks very different. I mean it looks fine, it's just not nearly as flawless looking as I'm seeing right now. So the thing that I have the biggest issue with when it comes to this foundation is the shade range. So they do have quite a few colors. However, their descriptions don't seem to match the actual shades, if that makes sense. Um, for example, what I'm wearing today is shade 102 all over my face, which I'm just going to read it, is described as a creamy toffee bronze undertone for tan skins. Um, now it's definitely on the tanner side. However, when I think bronze, I think golden and kind of like a yellow undertone. It's definitely pretty peachy. Um, check out the swatches that I've got on my website. In the photo that I took earlier, uh, you can definitely see a big difference between my face and my neck. My face looks so much peachier and almost 
more orange than my neck. My natural skin tone is very yellow, golden based. Like I said in my sample kit, I received three shades which are supposed to be the medium skin tone shades. Um, so that's 101, which they describe as toasted almond, yellow undertones for medium to golden skin tones. 102, which is creamy toffee, bronze undertones for tan skin tones. And 103, which is warm walnut, honey undertones for tan or golden skin tones. So first off, um, I don't think 102 or 103 belong in the medium sample pack. They're very dark foundations. Both of those foundations were too dark for me. 101 was way too light, and there doesn't seem to be anything in between. I checked their website, uh, I couldn't find anything that would have been a better match for my skin tone. Don't mind my dog snoring in the background. As far as their shade numbering system goes, I, for the life of me, cannot figure it out. They kind of bounce all over the board going from 100 being the lightest to then the, the next color being 106, back down to 101. It's really all over the place. Um, so again, I definitely recommend you buy one of their sample packs to test out the products on your skin. So I feel like I've <laughs> given you guys a lot of negatives about this foundation. And I just want to say, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube and Instagram really loving this foundation and having wonderful results. So I think if you have more of a neutral to peachy undertone um, and skin that's fairly normal, not too oily, not too dry, and fairly clear, I think this foundation would honestly be really great for you. But on someone like me, it just didn't cut it. Uh, so I'm probably going to pass on purchasing the full size. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out my website again if you want to see those swatches or a more in-depth um, blog style review. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, bye!